My legs were crooked, born that way, and I couldn't move around. I never stood or walked, just crawled upon the ground. They called it an act of providence, which had to be endured. And anyway, the neighbors said that such cases can't be cured, but not my ma. She used to say that rich folks found a way to straighten crippled legs so they could run and play. It didn't seem fair that there's no hope, she'd say, for boys like mine whose folks are poor. And then one day she heard about the shrine. The Shriner's doctor saw my legs and he didn't shake his head like most folks did. We'll fix you as good as new, he said. And this time you gave me a mountain. Awful poor," said Ma. "It's hard to pay the rent. Give us that boy," the Shriner said. "It won't cost you a cent." They didn't ask what church we went to or if any, or if we had some Shriner kin. Their questions wasn't many. They took me in, and then one day the doctor said, "Well, son, let's try those new straight legs of yours and see how well you've done." I don't know how he did it. I not much on doctors' talk. I know I used to crawl, and now see I can walk. I wonder why my mother cried when I went home so straight and fine, but through her tears I heard her say, "God bless the shrine." And this time you gave me a mountain. God bless the shrine. This time.